Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Realness with three S's. I'm your host, Chantel Francis, here to talk about episode 18 of Love Island USA. I am excited to see what is going to go down with this recoupling that I think is going a little bit too early. Um, who was I think saying that I think is going to be in the bottom? It's likely going to be all the newer couples, right? So I don't know how the audience feels about Rob. So maybe Rob and Cassidy might be in the bottom. Um, also, maybe Liv and who's Liv partnered up with? Um, the new guy, uh, Nigel, likely to be in the bottom. Also, maybe, no, I think that Leah has enough fans. Um, maybe Janae and Kenny, just because they're new. But I could see maybe the audience really happy that Janae has an opportunity to date somebody. Um, I think that Kendall and Serena are safe. I think Kayla and Aaron are safe. I eat, well, maybe... I don't know how they feel about Nicole. So maybe it's either between Janae and Kenny or Nicole and Kendall. That might be the third people in the bottom. So, I mean, what's going to happen? I just think it's a little bit unfair that all these new couples, they immediately are going to, you know, have to face a dumping. Um, they haven't, we haven't had a chance to get to know them, see if they're going to work out, see if we like them as a couple. So I think it was a little bit premature. I think they might've, wanted to push cast some more one day forward or just change the scheduling of things a little bit and make it make a little bit more sense. But so that's where we're at. And let's get into the episode. I am happy where I'm at right now. Yeah, I was going to say, are you happy I chose you? Did you think I wasn't? I'm, I'm not sure, like, if he's this is part of his lover boy, playboy, F-boy kind of charm and charisma but i feel like he's actually talking to her like i think like i feel like not that they're in a relationship but i feel like they're connecting sort of it's not like i feel like the conversations that i've seen him have with nicole and even with Liv, there's they're just not as these just seems really settled in it kind of has like a comfortable comfortability if that's a word, um, with each other that just seems kind of natural and, I don't know, it just seems really calm. So I wonder if this is a sign that maybe they do connect um, more than maybe I was expecting them to since it was kind of like a last minute, like, oh, I, it's women's choice. Let me go make out with Leah now and get her to pick me. So it just, it feels right now like it's legit. I don't know. What do you guys think? You got eyes I can just look at all day. Stop. I feel like he's so smooth. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that they'll have a kiss up here. It looks like he's wanting a kiss from her. Flirting. Complimenting. Making her blush. Like, I'm like permanently blushing. When I'm near you. It was a little awkward him kind of, he wanted to pull her over and she didn't really like assist it, but I don't know, I feel like she's kind of into him. They're all like both excited to share a bed together. Um, I, I don't think she's gotten the ick or anything like that. So let's see, let them explore this. You know, you've reached a point of maturity yeah. in life when like, like you're not driven by sex. Hmm, I wonder if they're keeping this in the not driven by sex line because he's gonna be that puppy like he was in university, just bouncing around to all those different treats that were just being dangled in front of him. So I wonder if Kendi's gonna be acting a fool over at Casa More because we know that's coming now. I'm like really excited to just like you know hang out with him i've been waiting for these vibes and he brought them so your girl is grateful i'm happy i'm happy that you're I'm happy, happy. yeah 
That makes me. I like them together so far. Um, he's pretty mellow and he does show interest. Um, yeah, I like, I don't know Kenny that well, so I don't know if this is part of a shtick and this is how he acts around everybody or everybody that he likes. So yeah, I need to see his personality come out a little bit more, how he interacts with the guys, how he interacts with other girls, um, how he interacts at Casa more. So right now I'm really into Kenny, but I just don't know him yet to know if I trust that he's not still this horny, horny puppy dog. Jump strap to me. Yeah. I, the only thing I wouldn't do is bungee jump. Have you done that? No. That's yeah. scared, way scarier than scared me of too. I don't, I'd be scared of the rope sapping. Okay. Um, the chat seems dead. Um, I mean, I don't, I think she's pretty personable. I think she's likable. She's obviously very beautiful. I wonder why he's not being engaging. Like he's talking about skydiving and talking about, you know, what she knows about him that she likes and stuff like that. But I feel like he's just not that into her. So... Me, Connor, and uh, Aaron, we planned a trip to Vietnam. We're going to drive across it on motorcycles. You want to go? We'll see how this works out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, that's a really fun trip. I would want to go to that. Um, but I don't think that he's actually into her. She seems like she's not excited enough and, like, just it's not fun enough, I guess. That. Did you feel the yeah. show? Maybe I chose Kindle on the recoupling, and I have no regrets about it. I feel like it was the right decision. Not that I always knew, but I think like I'm learning. I actually like now that she it's she seems to be open to him, and he's just so happy. I'm really happy that this has worked out for Kendall because you can tell that he's a little bit of a lover boy. And um, we talked a little bit on Entertainment and Color about how he's had a glow, must have had a glow up, you know, from high school or middle school till now. Like he might have been a little more nerdy. And so he probably used a lot of humor and being funny when he was younger just to like make friends and be popular or whatever. And then he became like a hot guy with a hot bod. And so, so he's still that nice guy. And so that's kind of in the beginning, it seems like that's what Nicole wasn't necessarily liking that much. But then she had a little bit of a moment with a bad boy, with an F boy. And she's starting to realize that she kind of likes the good guy. So I hope that this is genuine. Like they look so good together. She seems really happy. He, I could tell he's really happy. So I am shipping this union and yeah, I, I don't even think at this point, I think that they're both going to be, well, I think he's definitely going to be good to her in, in Casa more. I think that's next episode and it would have to be someone really special to so weep her off her feet to, to move to like take someone back from Casa more. So I'm happy about this so far. Between everyone well, or me? Between you specifically? I got a little confused. I just sent home one of my friends. Yeah. It wasn't easy. I understand where you're coming from with the fact that you just sent one of your best friends home. I get that. You know, like, I feel terrible. It's just interesting. I mean, Liv isn't necessarily the most warm person. And it doesn't seem like she knows how to be kind of soft and and kind of welcoming. And so Nigel is probably picking up on her. Just she's she's kind of already standoffish. Um, and he was probably surprised that she picked him. Um, but I don't know if I would be asking her or telling her that, like, hey, I feel uh, like you're regretting your decision. I just I don't know if I'd do that in the, in the antagonistic kind of way because Liv gets her back up against the wall and she she barks back and i just don't think that she's gonna like this energy coming from you <laughs> like it, it's true she did just send one of her friends home to choose you and so obviously she's gonna be upset about that and why don't you show her why she made the right decision 
you know, it just leaves me with a lot of questions in my head and a lot of questions about whether or not, you know, honestly, whether or not I even wanted to be chose by her, if I'm really being honest, you know, so I'm, I'm definitely not feeling the best about that's interesting that she didn't, he'd rather go home than be chosen by her. That's, that's harsh. Um, I mean, maybe we missed something because he was surprised that she chose him. Um, but she doesn't, he didn't want to be chosen by her. Why? He kissed her in the challenge. Because it's not my friend went home. I am upset. It's nothing towards you. Okay. Well, at least give me a hug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm I'm upset, but not with you. Okay. And just like gets up. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really get what he's doing. But I think it's just that her speech was more about not wanting to send her friend home than about coupling up with him. So I guess he just felt like, why'd you bother coupling up with me if there's nothing about me that you really want to, you know, be in a union with or working towards something with. I'm so confused though, as to why she chose Connor over him. So maybe that's what's going on with him too. Is that fair? You can't give me a hug? I'm not affectionate. I'm not affectionate, Liv. I mean, you're so wounded. What happened? What happened to you, Liv? You're so young. Why are you so cold? Not affectionate. You're Pisces. Pisces are affectionate. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're obligated to feel how you feel, dog. I'm going to be real with you. Um, she had the pick, right? But she's here for a specific reason, and that's to find love. <laughs> she's here for a specific reason to be a producer plant and stir up the drama um i think that they thought it would be more dramatic to have connor to go home so that maybe rob and Aaron would both threaten to leave again i guess um or just to keep i don't know why i still don't get actually why the, she kept nigel over connor like, if it was such a hard decision, why did she make it? And I kind of understand with him being like, you know, you're not giving me any energy. You're not being giving your body language, language is closed. Like, you're not, like, making me feel like you want to be in a couple with me. And she, she's just a hard one to understand, especially relationship-wise. And I guess because, because Nigel is an adult he's just like what's happening here like i think he just doesn't understand and he wants a little bit more clarity um it might be an age thing but they're like have like an eight seven eight year age difference that's kind of significant in that in your 20s i don't know i'm kind of understanding a little bit more as to like why he's like what's going on here this is i'm in bizarro world like you chose me but now you're treating me like garbage why'd you choose me <laughs> And she goes over to the girls. So she goes to speak to, this is Liv, um, to Nicole and Kaylor. And they also don't really get why he was upset with her. Um, Kaylor basically says, like, it's not about you, bro. It's not about you. And it isn't, but, you know, you'd want, like, say, like, you know, you send your friend home. At least maybe give him a big hug and be like, oh, my God, I'm so happy that you're here. We can explore something. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm upset right now. Like, I just have to send my friend home. But but it's because I see so much potential in you. Something. But let's not live. Live's not affectionate. Yeah, the fire pit was, like, just not okay. Nigel said that? <laughs> the bro yelled at me for crying. He like, yelled at you? Not yell, but he had an argument over there. You didn't do anything yeah. wrong at all, though. No. Um, wait, why is Rob like I mean, maybe they're always had this kind of relationship, but all of a sudden, like Rob gives the kiss in the cheek in the challenge. Now Rob is like standing up for her, being like, I can't believe that Nightbull would do that. He why was he yelling at you? What you had an argument with you? Like you did nothing wrong. Like he's definitely defending Liv here. Is he trying to create another little dramatic situation between maybe Cassidy and Liv. 
Because he doesn't seem like he's into Liv that much. No, sorry, into Cassidy that much. And he was originally chosen by Liv, but now... Hmm. And since that she was ready to be his henchman um, against Leah, maybe that, like, sparked a new, like, ooh, maybe we can be, like, Bonnie and Clyde together and just take down Leah. I don't know. But if I'm curious. Honestly, Liv, no, no, Dan. If you act. came in here and you act like you act now, it might have been a lot different. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not kidding. Everything happens for a reason. So... Hmm. He just says if you're acting, if you were acting then like you're acting now, like things might have been different. So he's basically telling Liv that he's interested in her now. Hmm. She says everything happens for a reason. Or according to Rob's master plan. I'm actually real happy with it. Oh, you look happy. Bro, you buzzing over here. Ears uh -huh. turning red. I look at you. My ears are <laughs> Whoa, is Miguel like cheesing over over Leah? Well, Leah's not gonna be the one that breaks your heart. <laughs> Leah's a bit of a heartbreaker, babe. And you're a Pisces lover boy. Deep down. Deep, deep, deep down. Wait, are you putting makeup on for bed? <laughs> it was, it was uh, so uh, Leah's putting on some makeup for Ben. She's getting called out. I think it was by Janae. Um, so maybe that means that she wants to make sure that she looks cute for Miguel. Like, it still looks like she's fresh faced, but like maybe if there's like a spot or like a little imperfection that she might just touch up so she looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you. Janae said I look like a teacher. A te oh, it's fuck, sexy teacher, though. <laughs> <laughs> so Liv and Nigel were like the furthest apart from each other on the bed. Everybody else was pretty cuddled up. Uh, Kayla and Aaron smooching and Kendall and Nicole smooching. They had a cute little moment, glasses to glasses, a little, little touch she says that she looks like a hot teacher. Um, I'm happy that she's allowed herself to be open to him. Yay. And it looks like Miguel is really into cuddling with Leah. I don't know if they were making out while they're kissing, but he definitely was like trying to spoon her and cuddle her and like kind of give her some kisses on her neck and her cheek. And, you know, he seems into her. Anybody naked? No. Yes. Damn it. Hey, you go. You already cooked? Perfection with the ice coffee. Thank you. Oh, Nicole was like looking to see if Kendall made her a coffee and he came with coffee and breakfast. That's a keeper. Be the biggest baby. I just like honestly don't know where my head at. And, like I didn't find it anything like romantically. Yeah, not yet, but it could happen. But take your time. Cassie, how was your night? It was good. But I don't understand. Why did she bother picking him if she already doesn't feel anything romantic with him? Did the producers force her to pick him just to like keep ethnic people in the villa? Like it's so bizarre. O'clock in the morning, like who the get... fuck is that? Like yeah, I... it was Miguel. Yeah. Leah put a muzzle on it. Yeah. I I'm didn't gonna... hear it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was you for a second. I was like, what the fuck is like, huh? It's not me, I'm really good. So apparently noted Miguel was snoring and uh it woke up Liv and Nigel at some point. I, I think she's about to friend zone him, but like he seems like he's being jovial, he's being kind of lighthearted about it, uh, you know. But he she's gonna break it off. I'm more concerned with like how I was feeling and not about what you had just done. I was just kind of being selfish, mm -hmm. you know, and I just wanted to just tell you that I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry that's okay. That way, you know. Like obviously, if okay, so she did. He does apologize and takes accountability and says that, and recognizes that he was being selfish in that moment. Uh, I wonder if she's still going to break up with him now that she got the apology. Just own up to their feelings, but to be honest, I do feel like something is missing. Like he's definitely attractive. I just. Can't she was never into that man. That's why I don't understand why she picked him. 
Like, was Connor worse, so that much worse? I mean, I'm happy that he got to stay and got to have an opportunity to maybe recouple with somebody, but, like, we know that there's going to be a dumping, so what's the point? <laughs> I feel like the more I talk to Miguel, the more I start to like him. He's, like, really touchy. I literally said I wasn't a touchy person, but, like, how can I not be with him? <laughs> so she's not a touchy person with you, Connor, with you. Like, same with Liv. Like, she's like, oh, I'm not affectionate with you, Nigel. Uh, I love that they're getting along with their love of movies. Uh, she said that she has a movie theater in her home and she lives in Calabasas, so she's probably quite well to do we'll say um the kardashians live in calabasas so um maybe this is also why some people are not enjoying leah's maybe they would say sense of entitlement or you know kind of like the attitude that she has um some people are not enjoying that part of her and it could be because that she's come from a a, a a rather wealthy um, upbringing. That's what it seems anyways right now. Um, I've always been a fan of Leah. She hasn't really bothered me or rubbed me the wrong way. It's probably because she's a Leo and I just um, allow Leos just to be themselves. Um, but yeah, I like that she's bonding with Miguel here, bonding over movies and scary movies. So she said The Shining, which is also probably one of my favorite scary movies. Last night, Cassidy and Rob coupled up, and already there's a real buzz about their conversations. Rob is not into her. He's definitely, he's giving her the original treatment that he gave Liv. So no energy, uh, kind of judgmental, a little bit assholic, um, like she's not good enough to be with him kind of energy. He's different from anyone that I've been with prior to this but it's starting to grow on me. So gonna can it's cause he's an asshole. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's, he's interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's cause he's not that into you. So he's not really trying very hard to like, make you like him. Um, and his personality isn't that great. <laughs> so you're probably just noticing that. Now I just want you to go catch a snake so we can play with something. I know a snake. <laughs> you know what? If that's like a sexual innuendo. He's so gross. <laughs> I think he's seeing how far he can push this girl, but she does not like him. And he does not like her. You didn't want to snug too much? On our first night. Yeah, good call. Good call. Being so annoying, I would not want to be having a conversation with them. Be like, okay, next. This isn't fun. Oh, this is about you. And it felt like really scary, even thinking that thought process at the time. And that was difficult. And my heart be going like fucking crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so shit. Now, Aaron so is, is having trouble expressing his feelings, so he's Gemini. He says that he's able to emote his feet, like you know, show how he's feeling, but like speaking about his feelings is a little bit challenging for him. And so he's kind of letting her know basically that he's pretty close to being in L with her. Um yeah, she's he's really nervous. His heart is beating. Uh, she's being really open and receptive, and like listening to him and being uh, supportive. So this is the first time we've seen them in a while have like a, a meaningful conversation about their couple and not about like Leah or somebody else. Yeah, no, I feel the same. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack right now. <laughs> <Kill me. laughs> <laughs> this is all cute i like it if you're okay because aaron you were in my bad books with how you were talking about janae and aaron and leah and like i just didn't like how you're acting and how you're kind of being a little bit um uh, controlling with kayla and whether she should join the conversation and so i was kind of annoyed by you a little bit but i do I like you a little bit more with how this conversation is going down. And, you know, I am a hopeful romantic at heart. And so seeing like it 
it feels real to me that they're both falling for each other. So I like to see it. But like the L word is definitely like him. It has been thought of. You're joking. No. (laughs) (laughs) So Kayla tells Liv and she's very excited for her that it looks like they're moving towards being in love. Um, You know, Liv is really excited for Kayla, of course. And I'm just, I, I think that Liv wants that for herself, but I don't know if she knows how to allow herself to be open to, you know, a person to allow them in so she can experience that as well. But right now she's living vicariously through Kayla. But doing the best I can just to yeah, push my feelings aside and, and see what what's to come of this. So apparently Rob is still thinking about Andrea. Andrea is still on his mind. Of course she is. I mean, I do think that you had a better vibe with Andrea than you do with Cassidy, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because they just like went out of the gate. They just started kissing and like making out because like she came in she kissed him when i don't know if he was blindfolded or if he had his hands up um, handcuffed but she kisses him then then they go on a date and they kiss then um i think that's all the kisses that they had before the recoupling but it kind of started off with like that passionate kissing and then realizing that they're like really into each other sexually and so I don't think that he had, like, they don't have, like, a kickstart on, like, why they are hanging out. And I don't think he really likes her personality that much. And they're not making out. Like, three, four days, I've just found myself, like, kind of, like, gravitating. Like, when I see her, I'm like, oh, I want to be close to her. It's really weird. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Um... What's what's Rob's master plan here getting with Liv? Because, like, it turned him on that she was ready to, to fight Leah. Um, because it would be maximum chaos if, like, after Casamori came back and then went back to Leah after that. Uh, I don't know. I just... Okay, well, let's see what happens here. I don't, I don't actually mind that much. Lib being with Rob, I don't, I don't like the vibe that he has with Cassidy. She's definitely not into um, Nigel. So, I mean, she was interested in him, in him in the beginning. So, let's see. Two times a charm. Just like, don't like each other and they hate each other, but then they kind of make it funny that they hate each other, and then. Eventually, they start hating each other less, and it's more like, oh, yeah, this is actually going to fucking work. I- is he implying that that Liv and Rob are a, a hate-to-love romance series? I mean, she's definitely in... She's definitely that energy of, uh, like, a rom-com where, like, she's just, like... She's always angry, and nobody can ever crack the coat. Like, taming the shrew, you know? It's not necessarily a shrew, but, you know, taming the wild woman, the angry woman. Um, you know, who's who's going to be the snake charmer? You're going to charm the snake or charm, be the live whisperer. So I'm interested to see if he could tame Liv and make her a lover girl. Yeah, this is really so, bad. I almost dropped the album twice yesterday, but not in a sense of I L U, as in I L this. What you, then when you do this? But even that scared the fuck out of me. I was like, "Fuck!" Can't stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's definitely trying to play it a little bit cool with Rob, because <laughs> uh, he definitely let Kayla know that he was into her to her and that the L word is pretty close to being said by him. So, but he's like with Rob's like, I can't, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can, you're going to do it for real soon. Really like Cordell. But like, I feel like I'm not showing him enough. I'm yeah. scared to like let a guy in. But like at the end of the day, like I really like the man. Oh. We love to hear it. Yeah, we do love to hear it. Talk more about how you're into him, please. Just like, please. I know you're a slow burner. 
In my opinion, slow burners is just like code for I'm just not that into you romantically. But I've been also told that people say that they act like that other Virgos are slow burners. Um, and so, so I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here just because, you know, a lot of people are coming for you and like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to come for you as well, but I'm happy to hear that you want to show him more. You want to be more interested in him, more invested in him. Now I'm curious if there's going to be a temptation at Casa more. Um, if like you will move more quickly just to be able to explore uh, some other relationships, I don't know, but I do want you to give Cordell more energy. If you're going to be in a couple with him and it's not a friendship couple, I would like you to be giving him more energy and not necessarily making out more whatever, but open up a little bit more, show him your heart a little bit more, um, allow him in a little, a little bit more. more. And yeah i'm like i don't want to talk to you today i like, swear on every on my dog i'm I okay. okay i swear I'm like, I let take it from me but... take it from i swear yeah. i swear i swear i swear so cassie did chose leah to discuss rob with um leah doesn't look like it's bothering her at all um i'm not sure if she's completely over him yet we haven't really heard her uh her feelings after the whole confrontation and all that jazz um, obviously her and Rob have not had a conversation since because he said, like, where I'm closed, like this is never happening again, whatever. And and he was done. Um, and so I don't know, like, I don't I don't feel like she's that into him or would go back to him or is interested in him because he's just not the same guy now for me, anyways. Like he's done too much. Can't put the toothpaste back in the tube here. He's he's shown too much of himself for me to want to explore that. So hopefully Leah's feeling the same way. Um, but Cassie is feeling a little bit shy talking to Leah about it, but Leah is swearing that she's okay. And I I, I actually think that she is. I was like, this is my girl. Like when I walked up to the fire pit and it was you, Janae and Serena, I was like, you made me feel so at home here. You know, we loved you from Joe. Yeah. I know how hard it is, but you've been. Uh, Cassidy really likes Leah and says that she's been really welcoming. And uh, you know, when they she first met them at the the twist group, um, that you know she uh, Leah really opened up and let her in to you know the group and the vibe. And Cassidy witnessed this fight uh, that happened with Leah and Rob and Liv, and. She's, I think she still feels really close to Leo. I don't know. I'd want to be friends with Leah too. Boom. He's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's good. He's a good guy. Wow. Nice guys wear like. So Rob decided to pull Olivia for a chat. Um, and the first thing is she's asking about, he's asking her about Big Nige. Um, it just, I think he just wants to hear that she's not that into him and. And he's going to put it on the table that he might be interested in her now. I wonder how she's going to react. She's going to think he's lying. But guess she's. Because you like me. I liked your vibe. I wouldn't you go that far. Past tense. Like your vibe. Better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I actually want So Liv says that she was going to choose Rob if Cassidy didn't choose him first. Um, he's definitely forcing her to or leading her to say that she's still into him and i like the way she thinks and it just seemed like a good time to just kind of pick her brain and see how she felt about me is he gonna kiss her in this moment i think he might wow he's messy jump the gun we'll see i need another conversation with him that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Can we make a toasty though? I'm starving. Okay, yeah, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm just starving. Before. Yeah, in hostage. So she just broke that moment up. I maybe was getting too intimate. Um, it definitely felt that a kiss might have come out of it if she had not been hungry and needed to go get a toasty. Um, she does want to have more conversations with him to see if it's real. Um I mean, I personally wouldn't trust anything with Rob, but I'll watch this. 
we'll see how this goes. What challenges? Like, if I'm being honest with you, I wouldn't just kiss someone now, like where we're at now in time. Mm -hmm. Because like, I feel like it's not what I like, what I want. I just want to kiss you. I won't be kissing anyone in the challenge and I won't be kissing anyone in the villa. Okay, no kisses in the challenge, no kisses in the villa. Does that mean no kisses in Casa More? Does that mean that you also are um, abiding by this, Mr. Aaron? So it's fine. To, this is basically them saying that they're closed off. No specific title yet. Um, yeah, who is, is someone going to break? Someone going to crack? Like, I could totally see in Casa More when they do those like games where they had to challenge the villa versus um Casa More and they're kissing the new guys whatever and he'll be like oh my god like you know the the youngest blonde kissed the most tattooed and he'll know it's her and then maybe they'll send like a photo to Aaron of her kissing somebody so I feel like they left this in because somebody is going or both are going to kiss somebody in a challenge or even outside of a challenge at some point, and the other person's gonna get real upset. There's more tears to come for both of these two. Uh oh! Oh shit! I got a text! Islanders, please gather at the fire pit immediately. Hashtag real talk. See, it's so soon. They just had a recoupling last night. Uh, but we've been voting and uh, the most the least compatible couple is going to be at the bottom america has been voting for the most compatible couple those with the fewest votes risk being dumped tonight first safe couple is going to be so if um oh somebody else is going to be reading it so i think the first safe couple is going to be leah and Miguel. Boom. Leah and Miguel. <laughs> Rob, do you know what? I realized that Rob is leaning towards Leah now. I think I was Liv now because I think he thinks that Leah, Liv is popular and he wants to stay in the villa. All these people that he's been choosing since Leah have all put him in the bottom. And so maybe this is why he's thinking ahead to maybe move on to live. Okay, so if Nicole is reading it out, I think it will be Kaylor and Aaron. The next couple saved is... Oh, actually, maybe I forgot. Maybe it's Serena and um, Cordell. Um, yeah, Serena and Cordell is who I'm going to say next, just because Kendall is bestie with Cordell, so like it might be nice for him to say her his her to say his name. Janae and Kenny. Oh, Shut up, stop. oh my God! Whoa! Oh, the audience is definitely rooting for Janae. Yay! That makes me really happy that she's not going to be standing in the bottom. They. She, yeah, so that's so great. Yay, yay. I'm happy with that for sure. Ooh, but that means the bottom is going to have a lot of OGs in there, I think. So in the bottom so far, it's still looking, it's looking like Rob and Cassidy likely are going to be in the bottom. Maybe, um, obviously, Liv and Nigel will for sure be in the bottom. And then is it going to be Kendall and Nicole? Are they still mad at her or are they more mad at Serena? Like, and not sure of her intentions with Cordell. We'll see by who reads the next thing. Oh no. yeah. Aaron, Aaron. Yeah. Get out. The next couple saved is. Okay. That's a hundred percent. Then going to be Aaron and Ka uh, Kayla. Kayla and Aaron. There must be another save couple that I think it would be. Ser 
if it's not Serena and Cordell, that's not good for them to like for Cordell anyways, because if, if Serena is, has an inkling, like a little bit of her is staying with Kent Cordell because he's popular and they aren't safe, then that could allow her to be swayed potentially. No, but I think that, I think that Serena and Cordell is going to be safe. It's going to be Nicole and Kendall that will be in the bottom instead. And I bet, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if Kendall's reading it, it's going to be Cordell and Serena. Only two more couples are safe. Two more couples? So that I think that Kendall and, and Nicole are safe, and then Serena and Cordell are safe. And so that means Liv and Nigel, Rob and Cassidy will be in the bottom. Serena and Cordell. I mean, that was obvious. And then the last one that's going to be red is going to be Kendall and Nicole. And then, yeah, the bottom people, like I said, yeesh. They put only two couples in the bottom. The fifth and final couple safe is Nicole and Kendall. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, we see the other views being passed between um, Serena and Liv. So I think Liv thinks that she might be going home. And Nicole was really scared, but happy to obviously be there. Liv and Nigel, Cassidy and Rob, please stand in front of the fire pit. Cassidy and Rob and Liv and Nigel, as the two bottom couples in the public vote, you are now vulnerable. Everybody's just dumping their head backwards. Um, I think it's pretty cruel to the producers to make Cassidy and Nigel be the one reading these texts out because since only two of them are going home, likely that is going to be the two newest to the villa, so. I mean, I guess they just didn't care for them to be here anymore, especially since Rob is not into Cassidy. So we're not going to get these theatrics of him like, I'm leaving. So I don't know why they did this so soon. It's very strange. Safe Islanders. You must now decide who you want to save by standing behind that Islander. The two Islanders with the least amount of people standing behind them will be dumped tonight. Get the fuck out. <laughs> the producers are disgusting. <laughs> you have to stand behind the Islander that you want to save? That's so rotten. Um, I don't think that anybody's going to give any sympathy votes for Nigel or Cassidy. I think they're just going to, all the girls are going to stand behind Liv and all the boys are going to stand behind Rob. I think that that's how it's going to be. But that's brutal. Stand behind them. That is so fucking. Aren't <laughs> they saying it's brutal too? It's brutal. Savage. Serena, please stand behind the islander you want to save. Fuck. <sighs> Serena's 100% going to stand behind Liv. No doubt. Cordell. Please stand behind the Islander you want to save. Yeah, this is going to be Rob. Like, no doubt. They're definitely dragging out this episode, though. Like, it was like, just like Max Exodus and just like everybody go and file behind. It's, I don't know why they need to create the suspense here. We know what's going to happen. Oh, I forgot that there was uh, his bombshell buddy here. So, yeah, I can understand that Kenny's going to stand beside behind Nigel just to support the person that he came into the villa with. 
It is brutal though that Cassie's not gonna have anybody stand behind her. That's that sucks. She's probably never really felt that before in her life. I'm happy that that Liv is saying please Leah Leah choose her cuz I think I think what Leah's going to do is give Cassidy a hug but then stand behind Liv just to just to show that bygones be bygones um even though it seems like Liv is giving Leah the go ahead um I feel like she's also the type of person that would hold her hold it over her head later on and so I think Leah will give her a hug say I'm so sorry but I have to stand behind Liv. Slipping out from under me. Love you, Cass. There's a wicked whisper calling. I can feel Okay, she didn't give her the hug, but she did say I love you, Cass. And she's gonna go stand behind Leah. And why are they leaving Miguel to last? Is Miguel like gonna throw a little wrench in here and go stand behind behind Nigel? Will it even matter? Who does Rob have behind him? I think Rob has already have it's it's deadlock, I think, right? Or is it gonna be tied? Oh well, yeah, it's deadlock because like Cordell, um, Aaron, and Kendall. So he Miguel's gonna stand behind Rob. He gives Rob like hugs every morning. He's obsessed with Rob, like everybody else. I do love, though, that all the guys at least gave, like, a little handshake to Nigel before they stand behind Rob. So, it, it if they didn't have to make that decision, like, it seems like they all liked him. And they just wanted Rob to say more. Cassidy and Nigel, as you have the least amount of people standing behind you, you are now dumped from the island. You have 30 minutes to pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Hashtag. It was really unfair. I agree. They shouldn't have done this so soon. She didn't have a chance. Uh, she didn't have a chance. That was embarrassing as fuck, you guys. Really? I was the only person that didn't have one person behind me. You guys don't have to. It's fine. You guys can like go do something. No. To look. Oh, Cassidy's like doesn't want them to be like with her while she's packing because nobody stood behind her. I mean, that sucked. She said it was embarrassing as F and it is, but she just hadn't been there long enough. Like she hadn't made it enough close enough friends or connections, you know? Not what I was expecting. I felt like I came in here and like had your back. Yeah. Literally, I cannot from the bottom of my heart like express how sorry I am. I just feel like I'm just so thankful for me. I had a feeling that she was going to be upset by the fact that Leah didn't stand behind her. And I thought that Leah was going to, but I think for the longevity of Leah's friendship with Liv moving forward, even if Liv gave the go ahead, I think that it, it shows Liv more that Leah stood behind her and sorry, Cassidy, like, you know, maybe you've had Leah's back Maybe you were riding for her, but you also didn't have as much time with her. And you weren't going to be staying in the villa. So, unfortunately, she kind of has to think about the relationships that she has moving forward in the villa. And, yeah, it sucks that you had nobody stand behind you and you thought that at least Leah would. But, yeah, it's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm just, I'm sad to go so soon, you know? It wasn't meant to be. Your boy's still an eligible bachelor, so we'll see how things go. I have to say, though, like, Nigel's looking better and better and better the more that I see him. Yeah, he's a good-looking man. And she's very pretty. She's going to have tons of people to date. Like, she's not going to have any problems. Tomorrow night, it's back. One new villa, 12 sexy singles. Well, 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 Casa Amor is 
back. Uh, I can't wait to see what mess is going to be happening in the other villa this year. Um, I'm, I'm not super sad to see Nigel and Cassidy go. I didn't really have a chance to get to know them. Obviously, the audience, the votes were showing that we just don't know them. And so I think it's it's poor on, I would say, the producer's part to, to be doing this, you know? I don't know, go into Casa with seven people, maybe. I'm sure that you have two more bombshells that you could have had in there. Maybe you don't have enough seating or sleeping arrangements. No, but you could have figured it out. So I don't know why they needed to dump two more people so quickly. We just met them. They just coupled up. Why are we dumping them right away? And in a way that's going to make them both feel like such garbage for the fact that like they don't know anybody yet. So they're not going to have anybody that cares to support them. So it's it sucks. It's pretty brutal that they're in the bottom and they don't have people standing behind them. They just kind of had like a, a kind of shitty button to the end of their Love Island experience. So uh, maybe I, I don't mind or actually I do like the stand behind the person that you want to stay. Um, it won't necessarily work if it's leaning in one direction because people might just pile onto that person. Um so they don't stand out. Um, but in other circumstances, I think it would have it would have been a better twist where it would spread out, where you wouldn't be able to like all put go on one person, like or if there's different rela- relationships and friendships. But right now, like the OGs are pretty much sticking together, which is natural. Like, why would you get rid of an OG over somebody new? Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, Cassidy and Nigel had to go, but it's Casa more time. So I am going to cover that next. So thank you so much for watching this episode recap. Please, if you haven't done so already, just subscribe to the channel. I got my analytics for the month of June and it says like 80% of the people watching these videos they're not subscribed. So please subscribe to the channel to help get Reality Realness with three S's to 15,000 subscribers by the end of Love Island, US and UK. That is my goal. Uh, We have a while to go, maybe probably like (laughs) 1,700 subscribers, but anything is possible. So let's just make that happen. Subscribe, like this video and let us know. Do you think that it was unfair that the producers made this twist, this dumping happen so soon after the recoupling, after they enter the villa? What are your thoughts here? And who do you think is going to stray or sway or, you know, act a fool in Casa Moore? I think Rob is. I know that he just like said to Liv that he's kind of liking her a little bit. So I don't know if they're going to maybe solidify something else now or he's just gonna go into cast a more single. Not sure. Uh I think I think that Liv might try to match with somebody. Um, so she'll bring someone back, but I do I think that in the end though, she's gonna end up with Rob or they're gonna try when Cast Moore is over. I think Miguel is gonna act up. I think Leah is gonna probably act. If someone's coming in for Leah, she's gonna probably act up. I don't remember what the guys look like though, if they're her type. Or if, if they're someone that she might, you know, move on from Miguel for. I think Serena, if there's someone that she's interested in, will will go for someone. I don't think Cordell will, but um, I heard that there is a girl that's going in for Cordell Strong or hard. Um, he might have his detectors on, though, because these people will know who his brother is. And so um, he might not be as open because you know they might be he might feel that they're coming in with an agenda i think that kayler and aaron are both gonna maybe kiss somebody outside of a challenge um i and i think that i don't mm, i think that Kayler is going to sleep outside at least for a bit. And then I don't think that Aaron is going to, I think the guys are going to be like, don't sleep outside. Just stay in your bed. Like you don't have to do anything. And that might hurt Kayler. Uh, I think Kenny might be acting a bit of a fool. I think Janae might entertain someone. Um, I don't know if she'll bring anybody back though. 
And I don't think that Kendall is going to act up. And Nicole only if someone hard pursues her. So did I get everybody? If I didn't, I'm sorry. I forgot. But anyways, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video and we'll see you shortly for the first episode of Casa Amor. Bye everybody. Ciao, ciao.